What is up everyone, it is I, Magician88, and once again, uh, I'm just going to make a video with my Vita. Uh, this time, the Vita has gotten itself a new update, it's version 3.10, or 3.10. Uh, yeah, so for you math nerds, it's actually 3.10. Anyway, there are quite a lot of uh, additions, and uh, the noise is starting to actually make me distracted. There are quite a lot of additions that came in with um, the PS Vita. Uh, I've got this list right here, so let's have a look at what it is. So the first one, and the big one, is actually uh, there is a new calendar app. Uh, after about a year and a half, they finally uh, put in a calendar app. I remember a year and a half ago, I put uh, made a forum post saying, hey, we should have a calendar. And uh, yeah, this calendar is actually pretty good. Um, it's quite comparable to my phone's calendar anyway, uh, and I, I don't really mind. Uh, the great thing about this calendar is that it actually uh, links with your Google Calendar, so you can synchronize it, so you don't have to worry about all of that. There's, uh, there's actually uh, both a personal calendar, you've got your own personal calendar, and then you can link it with Google, uh, your Google Calendar, and you can sort all of that out. So that's that. Um, for the most part, um, uh, recurring events are on go on your Google Calendar that uh, recur on a, in ways that you can't uh, make on your Vita. They'll still work. So, for example, you can't make something repeat every fortnight on your Vita. But you, if you do it, if you put it on Google, or if you go on your desktop and you um, in insert an event that uh, repeats for every every two weeks, uh, it will still show up every two weeks on the Vita. So you don't have to worry about that. But you can't make it on the Vita, so that's a little bit unfortunate, I guess. Uh, but otherwise, you can also add friends and uh, all of that lovely stuff. Uh, another big one is, uh, at least not for me anyway, but for some users, I guess, uh, the app limit has increased from 100 all the way up to 500. So if you have a lot of apps and a lot of uh, these floating buttons and balloons, then you can obviously put in put them all in uh, instead of having to delete some apps and delete some things uh, just to make space uh, for it. Uh, the next thing is that the content manager now allows you to manage uh, manage items in your memory card in the form of like uh, you can also sort of see what kind of percentage your memory card is uh, using for things like applications, music, save data, photos, videos, emails, whatever. So for example, for my one, I have about half of it, half of my um, memory card is games and applications and stuff. And then there's about a meg there, meg, uh, a gig of music in there and whatnot. So that's actually going to be pretty useful for those of you who are looking to cut down on some of the space because you want to download, say, a three gigabyte game and you want to figure out what's taking up the most space and whatnot. You don't have, it doesn't, it's not as difficult anymore anyway. Uh, so the UI has changed just a little bit to help you with that. Another big uh, inclusion with this update is that the messaging app allows you to send um, uh, send and record uh, voice messages with friends. So, for example, I like you can just uh, record a voice message like this, and when you press the record, I start talking like that, and obviously uh, it will, will pick up any sound. And afterwards, you can then just re you can play uh, your voice and see if it sounds about right. Yeah, so basically that's how that thing works, and uh, if you press OK, you, it will become an attachment, which you can see there, uh, which I can, I'll can i just delete because I've already sent Parco uh, a random sound, sound bite. Uh, so yeah, that's actually quite a nice addition as well. Uh, another addition is in the settings. If you go to uh, your, uh, what do you call it, power save, then you can actually, there's actually a new 30 minute uh, option. Originally, the highest you can go for was uh, was 10 minutes, so I guess if you uh, are looking for, I guess if you're downloading something, or if for whatever reason you really want your Vita to stay awake for half an hour, then you can choose that. Um, personally, I didn't really care about standby mode, because I usually am always using it when it's on, as opposed to, I guess, others who leave it on and then just leave it there. But like, tw 10 minutes, half an hour doesn't really make much of a difference. I guess... Ultimately, I will probably stick to 10 minutes because in case I accidentally turn it off, don't turn it off or uh, don't put it on a sleep mode, at least then I can save some of my battery. Now, it turns out some small changes as well. Videos can now be uh, uh, videos can now can now be uh, sorted by size. 
So that's nice. I don't have any videos though, so that's really pointless for me because I have no videos. But obviously you can sort them by size. I guess it would uh, you'd be using the option button on the bottom right hand corner, which is usually the little circle with the three dots. So yeah, that's all good. Uh, photos allow you now to auto tilt the screen or auto tilt the photo to rotate the photo actually. Um, so for example, if we bring out a photo like Abal Coup that just recently was featured in Build Fighters, you can then sort of turn the video around and uh, yeah, the image will just rotate. So that's pretty nice. I like that. I quite like that a lot actually. So yeah. Uh, whoa. Whoa. Okay. Uh, otherwise, there's not really that much else. Uh, freeform added in Panorama. So I've actually never tried that before. I personally don't particularly use the panor panoram panoramic uh, uh, things of of this uh, of of the Vita, but I've never tried it. So let's have a look. So if we go like that, I'm gonna have to just move around a bit. Uh, yeah. So, for what it's worth, I'll just, I'll just try and create a weird panoramic image. It's not the best, I, it's not the best pan panoramic camera around. I would prefer to continue using my phone, um, my S4 Mini to do panoramic images because for whatever reason it seems to do it a lot better. Uh, so yeah. Uh, we'll just finish, let it finish. This is in freeform mode, by the way. This is not in any specific mode otherwise. So let's see what we end up with. And uh, yeah, we do end up with a pretty weird image, uh, if anything. So yeah. So that's that. It's also like it turned. Also, I just found out it's actually really easy to make panoramic images if you want, if you have Photoshop or something like that, because uh, there's actually a panoramic tool on Photoshop, which I can probably teach later if you guys are interested. It's not actually that hard, it's actually bloody easy, it's, wow, it's actually really easy. You just need to have the photos uh, ready to go. And finally, of course, a few other things, the option for the clock, there's an option for the clock to ch automatically change uh, daylight savings, which is very useful, uh, especially for me in Australia and Sydney, where we actually do have daylight savings. Turns out people in Queensland apparently don't. Uh, I'm not, don't, I probably need a little bit of confirmation, but it turns out they don't. At the same time, uh, DualShock 4 and PS Mobile support is available for Vita TV, which I don't have. This is a Vita, not a Vita TV. And links to the browser, links in the browser to the store page will automatically open the Vita store. So, for example, if you go to a link in your browser to the P if you go to your browser and you find a link to the PS store, it will open it. It will automatically open the PS store. So that's actually a nice, a nice cute touch. But otherwise, that's about it. So, uh. Oh, and one other thing with the calendar, anyway, if you have an alarm set for, or if you have a notification set and your Vita is on sleep mode, uh, the notification will actually wake up your Vita. So that's actually a very nice touch. I like that a lot because sometimes there are some programs that have like notifications, but then the Vita doesn't wake up and all I hear is supposed to be a little noise. And I won't notice that noise, um, but I will notice if my Vita is on and, it, and a notification is saying, Hey, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, you gotta do this. So. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if for more Vita news, PS Vita news, and follow me on Twitter at Magician88. Uh, you can also follow my stream, my uh, Twitch stream, which I barely stream on. Twitch.tv forward slash Magician88. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Oh, by the way, this game, some people may think it's easy. No, it is bad crap hard. It is so difficult sometimes. Holy crap. Okay. Oh, and this game is free.
yeah, this game is free. So if you have, if you're on EU or NA or possibly uh, SEA or Oceania or whatever, you can get it. It's a good idea. Okay, bye bye.